right, guys. Well, here we are down to the bottom left-hand corner of Daybreak as our blue Protoss player up 3-2 in the set here at IPL Fight Club. That is Liquid Hero. And his opponent here in the upper right-hand corner, our red Terran player hailing from Team Enesosa. That is Jock G. Yep. That's right. So now this is the map that uh, Jock G, among a lot of other Terran players, have liked to do that proxy barracks uh, bunkering of the really fast expands that some Protoss players have been trying to do on this map, so you can definitely bet that Liquid Hero is going to be on the lookout for that type of thing. Yeah, for sure. Yep, It still might not stop him from doing any sort of early expand, and that's fine. I mean, you can still try to do that really aggressive economic expand, like a Nexus or a Gateway, then Nexus. You just have to make sure you're very thorough with, this sp with the scouting, especially on this map. And looks like Hero started scouting right from that pylon, not keeping that probe around to put down a gateway first. Once you get a good read on what his opponent is doing immediately, and uh, we'll see if Jokshi decides to proxy his barracks. He's not sent out an SCV yet, so it looks like he's just going to build right at the wall. So we see the stars being placed down in star. rally points. Yes. Superstar and that SCV making the superstar barracks. Yeah. Yep, so no sort of crazy proxy shenanigans from him this game. No. And uh, Hero probably let's see if he drops down the gate or just bypasses it looks like he is gonna bypass it for now and we'll see if he just ends up going next first yeah I think he's gonna be pretty happy to see that barracks he's like all right awesome I can just go ahead and toss on that Nexus just like I wanted to and so yeah almost certainly well yeah obviously now we're gonna see him go yeah. for that Nexus first and uh, already has his last couple of probes queued up, so it will be a 17 Nexus. Uh, Jock G, on the other hand, bypassing gas, so we're probably going to see just a gasless fast expand out of him as well. So mm -hmm. some good economy for both our players to start this game. Yeah, definitely. Nexus just starting now for Jock G, and it looks like, or uh, for a hero rather, and it looks like Jock G is going to go ahead and uh, go for the command center before the uh, second, or going for the orbital command before the command center, which right. is pretty normal. Once in a while you see people go really crazy and get that, command center first and then the orbital but I don't know I, th I think it's a little bit better to get the mule and the energy production going in most cases certainly and yeah. looks like that is the order of things command center coming out now so we have our first gateway coming up for uh, hero that's yeah, marine just making sure there's no more uh, scouters going to get in late or anything like that that is now his job it looks like he's holding off on marine production for a little while until he starts investing in his other infrastructure supply depot and the like and taking a look back on Hero's side of things, nothing out of the ordinary quite yet. It looks like we're once again in store for uh, maybe not too passive of a game, but at least a little bit longer uh, macro game. Yeah, you know what? Um, I wonder to a certain extent if we're actually going to see... Okay, we're not. I was wondering if we were going to see the uh, 3 Nexus, but with the gas, he decided to go with the Cybernetics Core instead. We've been seeing some Protoss players go uh, Gate Nexus Nexus yeah. on this map. And uh, that's been doing really, really well against the standard three barracks plays that uh, Terrans have tended to do. Yeah, I agree. But and, you know, maybe he still will. Maybe he just wants to start the warp gate research. But, of course, with the second gas, not likely. But Well, yeah, of course, not now. But right. Yeah. So let's see here. Two more racks coming up now for Jokji. And a fourth one down as well. And a fifth one. So five racks, all colors of the rainbow represented there. And uh, so five racks delaying on gas a little bit, but he is going to have an enormous amount of range pretty quickly. Yeah, this is a build that uh, has been kind of debated lately in Korea. A lot of Terran players prefer to just stick with four. Uh, a lot of people see that going up to five delays your tech too much, you know. But mm -hmm. the uh, flip side of that is that with five barracks making Marines, you can put a lot of early pressure on your opponent. Um, you know, especially one that's not going for uh, too many gateways early on. You know, sure. if you're deciding to do some tech, you can get in there and abuse that, especially on a map where you've got a couple different ways to get into the natural. It's still, uh, I, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I like the idea of having a ton of Marines early on. I mean, it, I like that style. Sure. But in terms of uh, in a longer game, I would agree that it definitely delays your tech, and I don't know if it's worth it to try to get in there and do that damage with the early uh, Marine pressure. Well, nothing out of the ordinary from Hero now as he's adding in gateways number two and three at the moment. Um, so this is going to be interesting to see how this eventually pans out. The probe does get killed, so he's not going to be able to see exactly how many Marines are flooding out of those barracks at the moment. Still no more gas for Jockji. He is uh, making sure to stay on top of those supply blocks, though, as uh, Spy Depot finishing up at just the right time. It'll probably start another one here in just a bit. And your supply really does go through the roof oh, whenever yeah. you do this. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you have to be constantly making depots if you're going to do something like yeah. that. 
And, uh, and of course, at a high level, you shouldn't be missing those supply depots. Generally, we don't see pro players do that too often. Right. But look at that. A lot of Marines coming out across the map here. So definitely going to be some pressure, even sending a couple SCVs with that. He can throw down some bunkers if he'd like to. Do a little bit of buffering. Now, are there any sentries out here for a hero at the moment? Not uh, yet. I do not believe okay. so. No. Triple gas coming down for Jockji at the moment. He is pressuring with a lot of Marines. He's just going to try and work his way through. Zealot at the front already goes down. There's a lot of reinforcements coming in from behind. One Stalker has fallen as well. The Marines at the front are starting to get picked apart, though. The Hurt one's going down very quickly. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, this is the reason why I'm really not so sure about this yet. Because, yeah, you can get in there and do some damage, but it seems like a lot of times... At this point, the push kind of stops. I sure. mean, you can see with enough stalkers, you can micro pretty well against this. And so when it's all said and done, how much damage has Jokchi really done? You know, when it, well, sure. not a lot is the answer. So that's the thing. I mean, he's putting down his add-ons. He did go for a, a lot of gas right after he pushed out there. Sure. But he's going to be way behind in tech. Now, he's a little bit lucky that his opponent hasn't really decided to tech yet either. So right. really, in terms of this particular game, they're on fairly even ground. And uh, wow, that's seven gates. So uh, Liquid Hero not planning on doing any more teching this game. Looks like he's just going to go ahead and try to end it with a seven gate. And the thing is, is that with only Marines, no Marauders, it's going to be pretty effective. I guess he's making a few now, but his right. Marauder count's, of course, going to be much lower than it would be normally. Well, we'll see if Hero is able to attack before Jokshi is able to get back on his feet, so to speak. He is going to have Medivacs in here eventually, and I do mean eventually. Uh, maybe he'll invest in some more add-ons here in just a second. So, uh, you know, he's getting to the point where he's going to have... Uh, you know, quite a few units, five racks with bunkers, uh, may be able to hold that seven gate, but Hero is going to be able to push in a very strong manner very soon. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough spot for Jokji, I think. He's uh, he should be getting hit before Stim finishes. He might have combat shields. He might have plus one, but. This is coming pretty quick, and uh, he has no bunkers, by the way, too. He's making a turret right now, but no bunkers. All right. Well, let's see. The Zealots are running up to the side now, and you, he had one before, and I guess right. he just uh, canceled it or decided well, to always cover it right away. On, yes. Well, if you're go for, going for the uh, gasless sort of opening. <laughs> yep. And, oh, oh, no, this no. is a disaster for Jockji right now, getting these units trapped out in the open like this he's gonna lose half his army before the push even gets there yeah oh man i think hero might just steamroll our Terran here the scv is coming off the line jockey's gonna need to control this really really well yes he is well, there's enough sentries there that a ton of force fields are gonna get spammed down and he'll be able to recycle those uh, guardian shields over and over they again a uh, few closer uh, pylons are getting placed down units are starting to appear out of the back a couple of good force fields hitting in the marauders at first wow it's pretty much all of the marauders in fact there's just yep. one sitting behind that so dim though it's getting so close to finishing yes it is how far is it away it's 15 seconds we're going to see if it's going to be able to make a difference now the scp is not really buffering any damage because they're not on the other side of the force fields the units are finally starting to catch up for hero he's pulling way ahead in supply the army for jock g is just getting obliterated at the moment in a 50 supply swing now advantage for hero yeah stim done now but it just did not come soon enough this should be it i mean hero looks like he's just going to steamroll our Terran player, a little bit of a stim, but again, not a lot of units. The rest of the SCVs coming off the line as right. more reinforcements come in. Oh. And it looks like Liquid Hero is going to advance to a 4-2 wow. in this fight club. Look at that. Wow. Yeah.